welcome back to my youtube channel silhouette of beauty i hope you guys are doing amazing today i'm going to be talking all things psychology a lot of you guys had questions and um, i put up a poll on my instagram for you guys to ask me um about psychology so i'm just going to be answering and covering certain things and just things that i wish i knew before i picked psychology um as an a level and just things to know so let me just give you an overall um view of what psychology content um at a level looks like so in year one you study memory you study attachment you study psychopathology you study year one biopsychology you study year one um research methods you also study social influence and you study year one um approaches so you have seven topics that you study your first year of a levels and then in year two you do um year two biopsychology year two research methods you also have three option topics um which depends on your school the ones that i did was schizophrenia relationships and aggression and you also study um issues and debates which all students study um and then at the end of the year your exam is set out with three papers both two hours each so that's just the overall content for psychology at a level so one of the questions that someone asked me is is it hard is psychology at a level hard me personally my answer to that is every um subject i'm just going to be real with you guys um every subject that you study is going to be somewhat ch challenging it's going to have some topics subjects concepts that are difficult to grasp um you will find some aspects hard nice. but is it impossible no um psychology um has a lot of research so there's a lot of research that that you will see within each topic you need to know that there are a lot of research um studies that you will need to remember psychology personally is a memory game um you just need to remember the information you need to understand the information and remember it the actual concepts the actual knowledge and information i personally would not say that it is hard but it's more about understanding and memorizing and and being able to recall that information which may be challenging but as i said of course all a levels across all subjects it's there's no subject that is easy right. okay let's just put it like that everything that you should know is that when you do your essays which are worth 16 mark i believe that in year 12 they are 12 markers but when you get into uh, year 13 you need your evaluation to be on point you need to make sure that is a, one of the most important things in psychology that you know your evaluation points it's very important to know a01 it's very important to understand the knowledge to understand um the information to know the topics and all of that but you must know evaluation points because if you don't you will lose a lot of marks in your essays you will lose a lot of marks when it comes to your 16 markers if it says discuss and and it says discuss and explain um localization of the brain or discuss and explain i don't know the biological approach it's impossible to get full marks like all that like all ticks if you have not included any evaluation so i think it's very important to to know your evaluation it's very important to remember your evaluation points like those is crucial it's crucial oh i forgot to tell you there's research methods research methods you have to know at the back of your hand like you cannot escape research methods i wouldn't even advise like skipping research methods in revision like you need to be revising um and no research methods because you can't there's no escaping it and it is worth 33.3 percent like it, it's it's worth the most amount of marks right you need to know your research methods you need to understand it like if research methods is one of your weak points you need to make sure that you make it your strength and make sure you understand it because you need to know it and there's a whole section in paper two a whole se section dedicated to research methods so you need to make sure that you know it especially your stats you've got stats that come up my time got cut short so i never actually got to um like sit my psychology exam but when i did do my mocks stats came up and you need to know with that table you need to know and whitney all of that the different types of tests non-related t-test like you need to know all of well, that psychology is actually me personally is the best subject it's very interesting you learn about the mind um you learn about why people's behaviors are like how they are um you learn about different explanations to different types of behaviors also psychology is not one of those subjects where 
you cannot revise because it like when you get into the exam it's either right or wrong and you need to actually be revising psychology like even if you're the best at it or you get a stars in it you need to make sure that you always know your stuff you need to know you need to make sure that you always understand the knowledge because it's not one of those subjects that you can just not revise because they are key terms you need to know your key research you need to know those key terms you have to remember the studies you can't be forgetting people like Zimbardo you can't be forgetting people like Ash like Milgram like Tolvin like Baddeley um who else is there There's so many researchers you you just have to know um but this is just for anyone that is about to study psychology that wants Wants to know you know a realistic right. overview of what it's like or is contemplating whether i should pick psychology or not that's very interesting like we've looked at in attachment um you look at how bonds are formed and how you know babies and infants um formulate um attachments with their parents what happens if a parent is absent what happens to the child you, um you look at bobby's research and you know his findings into um maternal deprivation you look at memory why do we forget certain things why do we remember stuff um cognitive interviews you look at all of those kind of stuff you look at um in psychopathology you look at depression you look at ocd you look at um abnormality ab abnormal behaviors you look at um phobias how they develop so you look at the behaviorist approach to um phobias and how they develop and how they can be treated all in all it's pretty interesting like it's changed my life it helps me understand people it helps me analyze people like i feel like i'm a psychologist but i'm not a psychologist yet i'm not a psychologist yet but yeah um, so it's very interesting but big takeaways know your research there's so much research there's a lot of research in psychology you need to make sure that you know it research methods it you get most of your marks from research methods like you have a whole section of research methods and it can come up in paper one or paper two so you have to know your research methods make that your strength if it is your weakness evaluation points know your evaluation points because you will not get full marks you will struggle with your essays and your 60 markers if you are not knowing your um, evaluation points if you do not know your evaluation points like that will be your downfall so make sure you know your evaluation points or find i think come on please 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 be like this is a subject that there's so much information there's so much content that you cannot afford to not actually be revising it some concepts so for example for me biopsychology was difficult um but after revising and revising and revising it and keeping like being consistent and going over it and continuously learning and revising it it's not as difficult as it was in the beginning like i actually understand it and that's another thing it may take you time like oh yes 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 that's what i needed to say when i first um started psychology at a level in year 12 um we did approaches and we did um research methods and i thought this is the ghetto like i hate it here um but because you were studying a new like a brand new subject like unless you studied it at gcse you won't understand a lot of the things and it's okay like you actually have to be patient with it like don't be quick to drop it because you don't understand certain key terms or what is going on because over time i promise you like your mind will get it like things will click things will begin to make sense but at the beginning you may not understand you know the different approaches you look at the cognitive approach the biological approach a social learning theory the behaviorist approach and it may not make sense to you like from the jump like at the beginning but as you study over time as you revise everything will click to you so don't be discouraged if at the beginning you're sitting in class and not understanding anything or not getting the grades that you want to get because over time as you revise you will rise to the top in jesus name and get your asr but yeah the first test that i got i got a c and i remember sitting in class and i did not understand anything but as i continued being consistent and disciplined disciplined and diligent with my studies and revision like i went up to getting a stars in my marks and tests and i say that humbly um but if i wasn't consistent in it and if i had given up from the beginning um because of discouragement then i wouldn't have known that so just be patient with it and it will all click and make sense like eventually over time um but yeah that's everything that i think i would say that you find it useful and yeah you guys if you have any questions my dms are open like all things psychology if you want to ask me any questions like you can hit me up um but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys